Hi, my name is Caroline. My business is Classy Classics. We sell the cars you dream about driving. I'm going to show you how I built an iPhone app for my business in just 60 minutes using AppShed. My requirement is to get an app into people's pockets, impress them with our amazing cars, and hopefully get them to contact one of our dealerships for a test drive. Here's the app I created, and now I'll show you how I built it in AppShed. Let's start the clock. We've got 60 minutes to build the app. The first thing to do is get to know the user interface. There are three main areas on the screen. On the left hand side is the toolbar. This contains all the tools we need to build an app. There are buttons to do things like create a new app, add a tab, add text, images and links, as well as more advanced things such as photo galleries and maps. We also have extensions to connect with other services such as Facebook, Twitter, Flickr and others. The next area is the preview in the middle of the page. This is a simulator for your app and shows you exactly what the app will look like on the phone. You can use the simulator just like the phone, dragging the screen up and down, clicking on items, clicking on the tabs. You can also edit everything on your app by clicking on the little green icon associated with each item. On the right hand side are a few panels for managing your apps and your account. Here you can see the app you are currently working on and the other apps you created. You can experiment and create as many virtual apps as you want. You can also upload images and files into your own secure AppShed library. Help is always at hand. Read articles for the knowledge base or have a live chat with our support guys. We're always happy to help you in any way we can. Talking about help, you've probably seen the hints popping up all over. We like to make AppShed as user-friendly as possible, so help is always close at hand. Now let's get going on our app. The clock's ticking. First thing to do is to register your account. Go to www.appshed.com Fill in the form to register your details. Click the register button and you will be automatically logged in. To create our app, click on the new app button in the toolbar. AppShed has a selection of templates we can use to get started quickly. We're just going to use a blank template and build our app from scratch. Enter your app name and description, select an icon for your app, we can change this later, click save and your app is created. You'll see that our app now appears in the properties and settings panel. The first thing we'll do is add a background image. Click on the green edit icon for our app to open the properties. The splash screen is what the user will see on their phone when they start the app. Click splash screen and choose an image from the backgrounds folder. Now click on standard background image. This time we'll upload an image from our computer. So click the green browse button and find the image to upload. Once that has been selected, Click the save button and you will see the background in the simulator. We can now add sections to our home screen. Our home screen will show a list of countries. We can use any items shown under standard screen items. Let's use image and text. In the pop-up wizard, enter the country name as the title a short description for subtitle and select an image. We'll upload an image from our computer again. The next task is to decide what happens when the user taps this item. We call this the action. Click the next button to choose the action. This screen shows all the possible actions. When the user taps this item on the phone, 
It can go to another standard screen, open a map, show icons a gallery, RSS feeds, there's a long list of options. For our item, we'll open another screen. We've now created two screens with an item linking from one to the other. The simulator works exactly like my phone, so I can see what the app will look like when it goes in the store. We'll add a few more countries to our home screen. I won't go through each one, it will take a few minutes to do this. And this is what it looks like. Let's go to my Italy page and add some supercars. On my Porsche page, I want to have a nice large picture of the car, some information and a link to a new screen for the technical specs. All these items are available in the toolbar. Your app can have as many screens as you like. It's time to add some more tabs to your app. Tabs are the black buttons along the bottom of the screen. You could call them the main menu. Servicing is an important part of my business, so I'll create a tab called Service. In the toolbar, I click on New Tab, I just enter the name and choose the right icon. Next, I have to choose the type of screen for this tab. I'm going to choose an icon screen. I can now add an icon to my new tab. There are a few things we do in the servicing department. The next tab is our dealerships. We have a number of locations throughout London. I want to show these on a map, so for screen type I will select Map. Individual points on the map are called location markers and they are found in the toolbar under Advanced Items. This is what it looks like with all our locations on the map. Another important tab is a gallery. This works just like the photo gallery on most smartphones. I'll upload photos of some great supercars and the gallery looks just like this. The last tab will be for contact information. We'll add links to call, which will use the phone dialer, email us and a link to view our website. We're almost done. All the screens have been built. But at the last minute my MD changed his mind and decided the app has to look completely different and insisted I change the whole design. Not a problem. We can go back and edit the settings for the app. Change the background images and change the text colour. There we go. A totally new design. That's it. We've built a whole new app in 60 minutes. Now all I do is click the Submit to Store button and the AppShed team will get the app into the app stores. Currently AppShed works on iPhones and iPads with the Android version available very soon. BlackBerry, Nokia and other devices will be available in just a few months. Build your own app today at appshed.com.